lovelies this is the blueprint and I am Lo thank you so much for joining me today first let me again apologize for not posting a video in what seems to be I think about a month suffice it to say that there's been some developments so that being said I want to move on to talk about what I did yesterday April 14th in New York I'm at exact you know I think I probably have it yes Pier 94 New York so it was a much bigger venue than it was last year and I was really happy for that because last year they had it in Soho I can't remember the exact uh, building but it was so much more cramped last year this year even though there was you know about the same or even more people there was more room to move around and relax and you didn't feel like you were bumping into everybody I met a lot of YouTube celebrities and I want to say thank you to everybody who came up to me uh, said hello and took pictures with me if you do have a YouTube channel or if you post go ahead and link me to that so I can share that I really appreciate that it felt it feels good <laughs> but anyway um, yeah so what I'm going to do is just share some of the things that I purchased I didn't get any Inglot because just like last year Inglot was swamped swamped absolutely swamped with people and I really didn't feel like pushing through and struggling I, I, I rather a group of girls and I started talking about how we just rather go online and, and, and purchase it. so um, I didn't get a lot of stuff but I'm happy with what I purchased so without further ado let's get started as soon as I got into the venue I made a beeline for naked cosmetics last year I bought one of these the best thing that I can think to call it is a tower but it's loose mineral that you can use for eyeshadow eyeliner nail polish lip bronzer and hair highlight depending on the different mediums that you take to it so I have these here and of course I will swatch them for you so I have six here last year I bought last year I bought a more neutral set of mineral pigments this year I went a little bit darker so let me start the swatching. This set of loose shadows, pigments, whatever you want to call it, it's called Urban Rustic. This one is UR04. Now I really don't know what to call that, but it's just really pretty. This one is UR05. It's a more purple, purpley color. Then we have you are zero two. I'm so not going in numerical order. This one is you are zero six, and then we have you are zero three. This one is more of a green color, and then finally you are zero one. So I was all over the place with the numbers. Finally made it back to one though. The Naked Cosmetics, all six of these loose pigments were $30. From Naked Cosmetics, I went over to Gorgeous Cosmetics. And this is going to be the first time I'm using their products, but I thought the colors they had displayed were absolutely beautiful. I bought six of their single shadows and they were $11 each. With the tax, I paid about $71, $72 for everything. So I'll go ahead and swatch these for you. This one is called Babushka, <laughs> which is really cute. All right, this one is Gem. This one is Apricot, and this will go just above Gem. Okay, and then we have Copper Gold, Submarine is a really nice matte grayish blue color. 
And then finally, plum, which is of course, you know, a nice purple color right on the top there. As far as cosmetics go, I only purchased from Naked and from Gorgeous. I didn't really buy a lot of makeup this year because I already have a lot of makeup and honestly I don't need to purchase any more makeup. But I was at the IMAX. How can you go to IMAX and not buy makeup? <laughs> Went over to Beauty So Clean. I wanted to try out their products. I keep hearing about it on YouTube and ads and um, it's supposed to be a really good product for disinfecting and keeping your makeup free of bacteria. So it lasts longer, of course. So uh, they had a set going. I think the set was $50 for all four products. You have the wipes that you can use for your mascara and uh, lipstick. Then this is a cosmetic sanitizer mist for powder-based product. Then you have the brush cleanser. Looking forward to trying this one out and then a bigger sanitizer mist. So for all four of these products, I paid about $50. The people over at the Miss Adoro kiosk area, they're so friendly, so full of energy. I loved shopping with them. I was only initially going to purchase, I think five or six of their false lashes and she talked me into getting 12. 12 were $24. So on all of these, about $24. So I'll show you everything that I purchased. This is number DW. DW. Number 600. Number 47. Number 42. Number 99. Number 12. I believe I got two of these, number 12. These are the really wispy ones. Number 82. Number 747M. I really like these now that I look at them again. These have to be my favorite. These are number 427, number 1, number 423, and then another number 12 again. So I decided to make one final purchase before I left and I went over to Delium Tools and I bought a brush roll. I am going to provide you with a full review once I have got some good usage out of the brush roll. This is the actual roll. It comes with Velcro. It's not leather. It has their logo on the inside. Flip it up and you can store all your brushes in there. So you get a set of five face brushes. You have a powder, a duo fiber, a blush brush, foundation, and contour brush and a set of six eye brushes. So there is a precision liner, precision liner, a lip brush, a small shader, pencil brush, angle brush, blender brush, and an eyeshadow brush. This year at the IMATS I had so much fun. I'm already looking forward to next year's eye match, which I'm sure is going to be just as great, if not better. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who came up to me and said hello and took pictures. I apologize for not stating ahead of time, putting out a video stating that I will be there and what time. I understand now that that's something that I should have done because I was, I was given a stern talking to by one of my subscribers and um, I appreciate that. So <laughs> I'll make sure that I do that uh, next year. But, you know, honestly, I wasn't expecting the response that I received. It was it was it was really great. Um, I did meet a lot of YouTube celebrities and they are really friendly and so down to earth. And I'm going to be putting together a vlog of all my experiences while I was there and who I met. And blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Please remember to be blessed. Stay beautiful. That's the blueprint. Bye.